Sagittarius, your January reading. Dry Desert, Spark, and Sacred Pool. I love this. So you're coming out of a very stagnant period of your life. This isn't going to resonate with everyone. So for some of you, you're coming out of a period where you felt very lonely, as if you were on this journey all by yourself. See these footprints. Not really sure where you were going, not really sure what you were going to do when you got there. But it's like it's led you then to the sacred pool. For me, the sacred pool is like this intense healing, uh, um, mind, body, soul healing. Letting go of all of these things that are holding you down, holding you back, holding you from your highest timeline, then propelling you into a much more um, creative energetic period of your life what's going on in love music may be significant i have new love i love that and engagement okay it's almost like you've gone through every single thing that you needed to go through by yourself so that you can attract in this person, okay? I really love this for you guys. I've, um, I'm feeling like a release in my throat, almost like in the past you had, you may have had blockages with your throat chakra. Again, passion, um, much more passionate period of time. For some of you, this is about your purpose, your career, Others of you, this is about um, a relationship. You've done a really good job of the chills. Uh, you've done a really good job of blocking out the noise, the chatter of other people, as well as like this negative chatter that has been going on in your head, I think for a long time. You've set a lot of really big intentions, right, with this prayer. For me, that's this setting of intentions, like what it is that you want to create and holding on to that vision, not letting that go and not letting anyone talk you out of what it is that you wanted to create. Much more balanced. Um, and this card is third eye chakra. And I also have miracle. With this third eye, it's like... It looks blue here, but it's actually purple. It's like, because you've been able to gain much more balance in your life, and you see how dissatisfied these people here are? It's like, despite what everyone else around you has said, this is what you should be doing with your life. This is how you should be speaking. This is how you should be living. This is, this is everything that you should be doing. You've ignored all of that, okay? You've gone on your own path by yourself. You've had to make these decisions to move forward on your own and regain your own balance. And because of that, it's like the information, the downloads, the connection that you have with your higher self, with source, is crystal fucking clear. Like you're not allowing anyone, anything to deter you from what it is that you want. I really love this for you guys. You've come into a, a place of just complete love and acceptance of oneself. If you're not there, that's where you're headed. Bodies of water are definitely significant. Um, and if you notice in this card here, for some of you, there's like a cleansing ritual that you need to do. Um, I recommend, you know, you've gone through this purification or you're going through this purification. So this cleansing ritual, if you haven't done this, um, I do like equal parts of baking soda, equal parts of Epsom, and then you could throw in some essential oils. Take a bath in that. Sage yourself before. Do the cleansing bath or do a shower, right? Imagine everything just flowing off of you. 
almost becoming bulletproof to the outside world. And again, with this purification, it's like you've, you've come back to, you see this cup, she fills up her own cup. I love this for you guys. All right, let's talk about this engagement and this new love. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you've gone through a complete transformation and you've had to do this all on your own. You tried to hold on to people, places, and things, habits, but it's almost like they were ripped out of your hands. Eights are significant. <laughs> and that leads you right into this Two of Cups. I love this for you guys. You, have, you could be dealing with an air sign, someone with air in your chart. Okay, so for some of you, you have a new person coming in and an old person rushing back. You're going to need to make some type of decision. And I feel like now you're in a place where you can make this decision and you know what to choose. It's like these people, especially those from the past that we were dealing with, as soon as they, they feel that you've turned around and you're going in a different, different direction, they come rushing back in because they need your energy, okay? They need you to constantly feed them your attention. And because you're not doing that, now they come rushing back in and they want to Well, they should communicate a truth to you, but they're not. They really just, like they haven't healed. Because if this person was serious, they would be coming in and they would be spilling all the beans. They would be giving you all of the information that you needed in order to convince you to come back to them. They see that you've had this glow up. And listen, this glow up bothers a lot of people who you've like left in the past that you need to continue to leave in the past. This glow up aggravates a lot of people. You're moving forward with this wand though and you're like, I don't need to settle any longer. I planted the seeds. I know what I've created. I know what's coming towards me and it's this two of cups and that's all I'm going to settle for. I'm not settling for anything less. I love you guys. Enjoy.